Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandy Seed Company. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about broccoli. All right, we are in uh, February and we have been eating broccoli all cool season long. It hasn't been easy. Uh, we've had an unusually warm cool season, but I wanna give you some tips and some tricks on how you can make it happen and be a successful grower of broccoli. So, number one, we started these broccolis from seed in August. I know that's crazy, but August is the time that you really wanna start thinking about planting your cool season crops. And then we babied them and babied them and then we transplanted them out in November. So these have been in the ground since November. And most broccolis uh, have the tendency to give you a full size head, unless it's uh, what's called a rapini. And then it will give you side shoots. And you don't wanna miss out on that really awesome extra feature of broccolis. So what that means is we've actually harvested a nice big head off this broccoli. You can see pictures on our Instagram and, and videos online. And once we harvested that, it doesn't mean that the plant's done giving you delicious broccoli. See all these side shoots? These are all developing. Here's another nice big one. Um, these are all developing after we cut the main head. And when you cut the main head, you're actually taking a lot of the energy away from the plant that it was putting into this, and then it starts really pushing out these side shoots. One of the broccolis we have called Waltham um, broccoli is known for producing a nice central head and then lots of side shoots throughout the season. One of the reasons why we love it is you only can eat so much broccoli at a time and this allows you to continue to harvest your broccoli for weeks to enjoy in dinners you know, for, for quite a long time. So how do you do it? You just simply cut the middle. That energy is now not, the plant's not giving its energy to the central head and then these will start to develop. And then you can just continue to harvest all, all winter long and um, when they start to go to flower like this, it's not a big deal. This is an indicator that you probably wanna start harvesting soon because as they go to flower, their flavor will decline a little bit, but this is still a perfectly delicious bit of broccoli that you can throw in your salads or stir fry. You can see the difference how this is a nice tight head and this is a loose head. This head's starting to go to flower and then eventually it will set its seed. So that's, that's uh, basically our tips on how to harvest broccoli and get the most out of your broccoli, especially if you're an urban grower in a small space. Make sure that you're really utilizing the plants to its full potential.